As the coronavirus crisis continues, should everyone be wearing a mask in public? Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Rinner. Well, earlier this month, the CDC recommended Americans wear masks to help stop the spread. And now some leaders in Baltimore City want to make it mandatory. WJZ is live outside of City Hall tonight. Rachel Menentoff explains why they're calling on the mayor to put this into effect. Rachel. Rick, city councilors adopted several resolutions at their meeting tonight, and one of them says that we should all be wearing one of these face coverings whenever we go to the grocery store, the pharmacy, the bank, or conduct any kind of essential business. At its second virtual city council meeting, Baltimore city leaders agreed that many essential businesses, their employees and customers continue to be at risk of contracting COVID-19, even with the strict measures already in place. And we are putting the lives of our citizens, the lives of those individuals who work in our supermarkets, who are doing the work that is allowing us to have some sense of normalcy at risk. As a result, City Council President Brandon Scott offered a solution. He's asking all essential businesses to institute social distancing practices inside their establishments and is also asking the mayor to issue an executive order requiring everyone in the city to wear a mask or face covering in public. At the end of the day, it can only help. Baltimore resident Melissa Alston says if this is what's needed to keep us safe, she's all for it. I mean, they're hot and they're uncomfortable, but I mean, so is the hospital. Montgomery and Prince George's counties are already doing something similar. They now require shoppers and commuters to wear face masks when they're out for essential reasons. This move comes as these counties report the largest number of coronavirus cases and deaths in the state. Mayor Jack Young's office issued a statement in response to the council's recommendation, saying in part, the mayor is also consulting with the health commissioner and will consider all protocols that advance public health. Mayor Young says he's now consulting with Prince George's County and Montgomery County to see how this practice is working in their areas. We're live outside City Hall tonight. I'm Rachel Menatoff for WJZ.